Where crime occurs, peace, health, and happiness are almost invariably put in jeopardy. So, as one year ends, another begins. I continue to go about learning from our communities in Belopan and the surrounding villages from Franks Eddy to the east, Blackman Eddy to the west, St. Margaret's to the south, Valley of Peace to the north, and all the other villages in between. By sharing your experiences with me, I will be better equipped to make your voices heard as our police and partners work together to tackle crime. I am obliged to highlight our achievements for the progressive period 2014, which includes high community engagement, visible improved morale of officers. We saw a 23% plus reduction in major crimes, a significant reversal of the murder rate from 16 to 5. We halted the theft of government motor vehicles appointed a police liaison officer to communicate with victims of crimes. We saw the appointment of a constable quality circle to make representation on their behalf. We also saw a reduction in robberies on our walkways and decrease in burglaries. Furthermore, we started the Cadet Corps program at the Rowan Creek Police Substation for young kids and soon to come on board is Blackman Eddy Village. This will be the new way forward for 2015. In addition, I have appointed two police officers to each village in our jurisdiction with the view of creating focus groups to better police by consent. We also saw the reactivation of the different neighborhood watch groups in Belopan. In tandem, I have appointed an officer at the San Martin, Kuhunwak, Maya Mopan and Las Flores areas to conduct and engage in high visibility and meaningful patrols. In this light, Due to the security measures put in place, we have seen a downward trend in crime towards the end of this year.